Top 10 perfumes with a milk note. All of these perfumes smell like milk, they are lactonic, they are cozy, they are comforting. More often than not, they are gourmand, so they possess some sweet attributes to them as well. I'll share the list with you in a second, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode and I share with you these 10 perfumes that all contain a note of milk, they are delicious if you can get your hands on them. Please do, all of these can be sampled somewhere. Check Oswald NYC, check around. These are absolutely phenomenal. Of course, one of them is discontinued. I'll talk to you about it in a second. But before I dive into their video, I do wanna mention that if you're a fan of fragrance-related content, and of course, if you love smelling your best, hit subscribe, hit the bell, and also please give this video a thumbs up for the algorithm. It would really mean a lot to me. So the first one is discontinued. So I don't recommend this one. People are selling it online for over a thousand dollars by Melanie Martinez. This one is called Cry Baby. This one kind of smells like strawberry milk, delicious, beautiful perfume, but kind of hard to get. So don't even look around for that one. This next brand is based out of Argentina. It's called Fueguia and the perfume that smells like milk it's called Quilombo. This smells like straight up warm milk. It is delicious, it's very addictive, um, but it's very linear as well. So it doesn't have too many other gourmand properties. This next one has a biscuit accord. This one is phenomenal. Le de Biscuit by Chaubaud. This one does have some gourmand properties about it that I really, really enjoy. This next one has a chestnut note in it. This one is another sweet fragrance by the brand Masque Milano. It's Madeline. So if you're a fan of gourmands, okay, we're gonna start to enter some gourmand territory here with the exception of the very next one. The very next one is a milky tuberose fragrance. The milk note in here is quite amplified. It's quite strong. I love this one. One of my favorites of all time by Liquide Imaginaire. This one is called Blanche Bette. This is beautiful. We also have by Navitus Parfum, Lost in a Dream. This fragrance has a croissant accord. So this one takes it in a gourmand direction, but also quite different from everything else. I love the uniqueness behind that one. By the Dua brand, we have Ajwa Dates Milk. Sweet, exotic, and also very affordable. So that's fantastic. By Casa Morati, we have Italica. You knew Italica was gonna get mentioned at some point throughout the course of this video. It has the toffee, it has the caramel, it has the almond, also a touch of saffron in here as well. So it's not afraid to go a little bit on the darker side of things, but Italica is such a beautiful fragrance by Casa Morati. This and Lira are two gourmands I totally recommend. In the number two spot, boy, was I surprised by this fragrance. This one is beautiful, it's sweet. There's this dry down of spun sugar. And the funny thing, is it doesn't mention milk in the note breakdown, but you smell it and it is 100% lactonic. You are going to notice it immediately. And this is actually one of my favorite perfumes ever. And it's grown on me so quickly in such a short period of time by the brand Gleam London. This one is called Vanilla Crush. Yeah, I thought it was something else. Vanilla Crush. They also have another one called Espresso Please that is a phenomenal gourmand coffee base. So I almost got it confused with that one. But the perfume in the number one spot, I know this is getting hyped for very good reason. I got my hands on a bottle. Let me tell you, this is one of the best gourmands ever. This is a phenomenal milk-based fragrance. This one is so addictive. People are drawn to it for very good reason. It lives up to the hype. It has honey in the dry down. It has a lot of other gourmand properties. You can sample it at Oswald NYC. I'm going to drop the links down below. They're not affiliate links and this is not a sponsored video either. I'm not getting paid anything for this. I want to make it easy for you to discover these amazing fragrances, but this fragrance in the number one spot is totally deserving of the hype. I really love this one and I'm gonna be wearing it no matter what the season or occasion is by Giardini di Toscana, it's called Bianco Latte. Hey, let me know what perfumes do you like that contain a milky note or a lactonic note? I know there's a lot more out there, so drop your comment down below. Always love the interaction, and if you took anything of value from this video, hit subscribe, hit the bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you again so much for joining me today. I love you all, and we'll see you tomorrow with a new episode. Bye.